History of Badshahi Mosque Lahore, Architectural Wonder, Significance, Building History and FAQs. Subscribed by my YouTube channel, Golden Words. Badshahi Mosque History. Badshahi Mosque is a Mughal era mosque in Lahore, Pakistan, built by Emperor Aurangzeb in 1673. It took decades to complete, with multiple architects contributing to its design. The mosque is renowned for its impressive architecture and grandeur, making it a major tourist attraction in the city. Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb selected Lahore to build his new imperial mosque. They constructed the mosque as a memorial to commemorate the military campaigns that Aurangzeb led in southern India, namely against the Maratha King Shivaji. They built it exactly across from the Lahore fort and its Alamjairai gate, both of which were constructed concurrently by Aurangzeb during the construction of the mosque. The historical city of Lahore has seen many dynasties and ages but the color of this great city never fades away. Even in this century, the beauty of the holy relic speaks for itself. Lahore preserves rich and magnificent architectural heritage of Mughal era that attracts and enchants the tourists from across the globe. Amidst tall buildings and beautiful gardens, there stands in the heart of Lahore the Great, mesmerizing but Shahi Mosque, hailing cultural history of Mughals in South Asia. Tourists from around the globe gather offering homage to the grandeur of Mughal era. The construction of the Badshahi Mosque started under the thriving benefaction of the sixth Mughal emperor, His Highness Aurangzeb Alamgir. Like the character of its benefactor, the mosque is gigantic and majestic in its appearance. It was completed and opened for visitors in 1673. Design and Architecture As gateway to the west, and Persia, Lahore and Badshahi Mosque in particular holds a strong strategic and geographic position, that is why Aurangzeb made this magnificent stronghold to maximize its strategic value. Gigantic Gateway and Courtyard The main view of the mosque craved with red stones is breathtaking, entering through the main gate leads you to another time and space where you experience the might of Mughals. Expansive sandstone paved courtyard of 276,000 square feet. The northern wall of the mosque had been laid close to Ravi to enhance its beauty to maximum. The mosque is architectural wonder of Greek, Islamic and Indian culture. Prayer Hall Festooned with stucco tracery and fresco work, the main prayer hall of the mosque comprises of seven marvelously carved arches which can accommodate more than 95,000 worshippers. External side of the mosque is bedecked with the stone carving with marble hatch on red sandstone. The prayer chamber arches have been carried by enormous heavy piers. The mosque has three domes, the bigger one is located in the center of the mosque which is fringed by other two smaller domes. In the eastern side of ceiling lies the compartment with curved border at the cornice level. Apart from domes there are quite a few numbers of chambers in mosque where in the time of Mughals people gather to hold religious talks and sermons. Minarets Skyline of the mosque inlaid with marble and red stone lining enhances the beauty and splendor. Clad with marbles four out of eight esteemed minarets, approximately fourteen feet tall can be seen from a far distance. The main building of the mosque also features additional four minarets in its each corner which gives extra topping of beauty to the mosque. If we have a look at the mosque construction in Pakistan, majority of mosques in the country are a reflection of this magnificent landmark. Due to its historical value the government of Pakistan included this mosque in a tentative list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Museum of the Mosque Holding several wonders to itself, the Badshahi Mosque also houses a museum, one of the best museums in Lahore, which makes it not only significant for tourists visiting the grandeur of architecture, and also culturally and religiously important for the people of Pakistan. The museum located at the mosque entrance is known to preserve the hair strands of Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, and his son-in-law Hazrat Ali, R.A. This holds religious importance for Muslims and they keep an emotional attachment towards it. The Mughal Emblem The mosque's main hall serving as the central prayer hall has been embellished with red sandstone, differentiating the prayer hall from the rest. Another thing that ignites the charm of this hall is the Mughal floral frescoes, which are embellished in the ceilings of the prayer hall. 
The walls of the prayer hall have been engraved with different verses of the Quran. The hall is divided into seven parts using multifoiled arches and heavy pillars. The architect of the building designed to show the boldness and majesty of the founder, Emperor Aurangzeb. Tourist Attraction Located in the historical city of Lahore, the prominent Badshahi Mosque promises an amazing experience for tourists. It has been a place to worship and one of the biggest tourist attractions. The charm of this mosque has attracted many politicians and celebrities, including Diana, Princess of Wales, and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince William, and Kate Middleton, on their tours to Pakistan. But Shahi Mosque, built by the Mughals, is the epitome of Mughal architecture. For many years Lahore, the Mughal city of gardens, has been a central hub for South Asia. It is the 14th most popular country globally because of its rich history. The beauty of Lahore is not only restricted to the Mughal buildings, it comprises various other such infrastructures that make it unique from any other city. One thing that attracts tourists to Lahore from all across the world is the vestige of the time when Rajputs and Sikhs ruled the city. Therefore Lahore is named the cultural capital of Pakistan. Pakistan's border with India lines at Lahore, which happens to be another main aspect of it being one of the most significant cities in Pakistan. Many people visit the border on events such as Independence Day on 14th of August and Pakistan National Day 23rd of March. Restaurants nearby Badshahi Mosque give a great view of the mosque with amazing food, especially at night and adds up as an attraction for the tourists and general public. The newly opened food street just beside Badshahi Mosque comprises restaurants like Haveli, Kuko's Den, Shahi Bawar Chikana, Fort View, and as restaurant and many others with rooftop sitting so that the tourists get a clear view of the mosque while enjoying Pakistani plus continental food. The last Mughal monument was built by Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb in close vicinity of the Lahore Fort, Minari Pakistan, Shish Mahal and Wazir Khan Mosque. In short, Badshahi Mosque is one of the most beautiful mosques in Pakistan. The Architecture of the Badshahi Mosque the Badshahi Mosque is considered one of the finest examples of Mughal architecture and is renowned for its intricate design and stunning features. The mosque's defining features include its massive prayer hall, soaring minarets, and intricate tile work. The mosque's exterior is adorned with marble domes, arches, and intricate calligraphy. While its interior is characterized by its spacious courtyards, grand arches, and towering pillars. The design of the mosque seamlessly blends Persian, Indian, and Central Asian architectural styles, creating a truly unique and awe-inspiring space. One of the most notable features of the Badshahi Mosque is its massive prayer hall, which can accommodate up to 100,000 worshippers. The hall is supported by towering pillars and grand arches, and is topped by a magnificent dome that rises over 60 meters high. The mosque's minarets are also impressive with each standing over 40 meters tall and offering breathtaking views of the surrounding city. The mosque's intricate tile work and calligraphy add to its beauty, with intricate geometric patterns and verses from the Quran adorning its walls and arches. Overall, the Badshahi Mosque is a masterclass in Mughal architecture and a testament to the creativity, skill, and vision of the artisans who built it. The mosque's timeless beauty and stunning design continue to draw visitors from around the world, making it one of the must-see attractions in Lahore. The Badshahi Mosque is a stunning example of Mughal architecture. It was commissioned by Emperor Aurangzeb in 1671, and built by his brother-in-law, Muzaffar Hussain, Fida I Khan Koka. The Badshahi Mosque was built between 1670 and 1678 and is an impressive structure. Its walls are 42 feet thick at the base and taper to 25 feet thick at the top, and it took eight years to build. The mosque is an iconic example of Grand Mughal architecture, and serves as an important reminder of the power of the Mughal Empire. The corridor around the open quadrangle is wide, with cloisters on each side holding arched recesses pointing in the direction of Mecca. These recesses provide a place for Muslims to offer their prayers. There are four minarets and no dome inside, only an imperial crown atop each minaret symbolizing there is only one god as far as Islam is concerned, inside, 
it has 22 domes besides three larger ones at its main entrance. The mosque's strategic placement near the Lahore fort was deliberate, as it was intended to be a symbol of imperial power and grandeur. Its facing direction towards the west demonstrated the extent of its emphasis on the importance of the imperial vision. The Alam Jairai Gate is a specialized entrance that was constructed as part of the fort and is located opposite the mosque. The Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb used the area that would eventually become known as Aurangzeb Garden to inspect his troops and courtiers. The Hazuri Bagh surrounding the mosque is on a lower ground level than the mosque itself, due to its construction on a six-meter high plinth. This was done in order to avoid flooding from nearby rivers. The Cultural and Religious Significance of the Badshahi Mosque The Badshahi Mosque holds a significant place in both the cultural and religious fabric of Lahore and Pakistan. The mosque has been a center of religious worship for centuries and continues to serve as an important gathering place for the Muslim community in Lahore. The mosque's grandeur and size have made it a popular destination for religious festivals and events, including Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha, and the annual Urs of Sufi saints. Beyond its religious significance, the Badshahi Mosque is also a symbol of Lahore's rich cultural heritage. The mosque is a testament to the Mughal Empire's architectural and cultural achievements and serves as a reminder of Lahore's long and storied history. The mosque is also a popular tourist attraction, with visitors from around the world coming to admire its stunning architecture, intricate design, and rich cultural heritage. In addition to its cultural and religious significance, the Badshahi Mosque has also played a role in the political and social history of Lahore and Pakistan. The mosque has been a site of political protests and demonstrations and has been a symbol of resistance against colonial rule. Today, the Badshahi Mosque remains an important cultural and religious landmark in Lahore and continues to play a vital role in the city's cultural and religious landscape. The Restoration and Conservation Efforts for the Badshahi Mosque The Badshahi Mosque has undergone several restoration and conservation efforts over the years to maintain its architectural and cultural significance. The mosque was first restored in the late 19th century during British colonial rule, and has since undergone several renovations to address structural and aesthetic issues. The most recent restoration effort began in the early 2000s and aimed to preserve the mosque's original features while also addressing modern infrastructure needs. The restoration project involved the cleaning and repair of the mosque's exterior, the strengthening of its foundation, and the restoration of its intricate tile work and calligraphy. The restoration effort also aimed to improve accessibility for visitors, with the addition of ramps, elevators, and other modern amenities. The conservation and restoration of the Badshahi Mosque is a vital effort to preserve its architectural and cultural significance for future generations. The mosque's stunning design, rich history, and cultural significance make it a national treasure and an important part of Lahore's cultural heritage. The ongoing restoration and conservation efforts help to ensure that the Badshahi Mosque will continue to be an important cultural and religious landmark for years to come. Also read on Akaf and Religious Affairs Department about Badshahi Masjid. Conclusion, the Badshahi Mosques. In conclusion, the Badshahi Mosque is a remarkable example of Mughal architecture and a significant cultural and religious landmark in Lahore, Pakistan. The mosque's stunning design, rich history, and cultural significance make it a testament to the Mughal Empire's architectural and cultural achievements and an important part of Lahore's cultural heritage. The restoration and conservation efforts aimed at preserving the mosque's architectural and cultural significance are a vital effort to ensure that the Badshahi Mosque continues to be an important cultural and religious landmark for generations to come. Whether as a center of worship, a symbol of Lahore's cultural heritage, or a popular tourist attraction, the Badshahi Mosque remains a remarkable testament to the rich cultural and architectural heritage of Pakistan. FAQs What is the significance of Badshahi Mosque? Badshahi Mosque is a significant historical and cultural landmark in Pakistan. It represents the Mughal architecture and is a symbol of the Muslim community in Pakistan. It is also a popular tourist destination for visitors to Lahore. What is the capacity of Badshahi Mosque? 
But Shahi Mosque can accommodate up to 100,000 worshippers at a time, making it one of the largest mosques in the world. What is the architecture of Bat Shahi Mosque? Bat Shahi Mosque is built in the Mughal architectural style, with red sandstone and marble used in its construction. The mosque has four minarets, three domes, and a large courtyard. The interior is decorated with intricate calligraphy and floral motifs. What is the dress code for visitors to Bat Shahi Mosque? Visitors to Bat Shahi Mosque are required to dress modestly, with men and women covering their heads and removing their shoes before entering the mosque. Scarves are available for visitors who do not have their own head coverings. What are the visiting hours of Bat Shahi Mosque? Bat Shahi Mosque is open to visitors every day from sunrise to sunset. However, it is closed to visitors during prayer times. Is there an entry fee for Bat Shahi Mosque? There is no entry fee for visiting Bat Shahi Mosque. However, donations are accepted for the maintenance and preservation of the mosque. What are the nearby landmarks of Bat Shahi Mosque? Bat Shahi Mosque is located in the heart of Lahore and is surrounded by many other historical landmarks, including Lahore Fort, Hazuri Bagh, Minari Pakistan, and the Lahore Museum. Why is Bat Shahi Mosque famous? Bat Shahi Mosque is famous for its historical and cultural significance as one of the largest and most iconic landmarks in Lahore, Pakistan. It is a symbol of Mughal architecture and Islamic heritage, attracting visitors from all around the world. Why did Aurangzeb build Bat Shahi Mosque? The Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb built Bat Shahi Mosque in 1673 as a symbol of the power and grandeur of his empire. The mosque was built to commemorate his victory in the War of Succession against his brother Dara Shirko. What are three facts about Bat Shahi Mosque? A. Bat Shahi Mosque is one of the largest mosques in the world and can accommodate up to 100,000 worshippers at a time. B. The mosque was built in just two and a half years, using red sandstone and marble, and was completed in 1673. C. The main prayer hall of the mosque is decorated with intricate frescoes, calligraphy, and marble inlay work. What is inside Bat Shahi Mosque? Inside Bat Shahi Mosque, there is a large prayer hall with a marble floor, decorated with floral motifs and calligraphy. The mosque also has three marble domes and four minarets, which are visible from a distance. The interior of the mosque is adorned with intricate frescoes and tile work adding to its beauty and grandeur. 